Anytime that you get a new machine, I always recommend to our students to stitch out a stitch book. Now, what is a stitch book actually, and why is it great to do it? Well, here you are on the Fav Creative Icon 2, and there are hundreds of stitches in this machine. And if it's new to you, it's you need to get familiar with the menus, how to get around your screen, which buttons you're pushing to start, stop, and move to different lines and stitch out the stitches by making yourself a stitch book you are first making a wonderful reference of everything that is in this machine those big stitches that you might not realize are as big as they are the floating stitches the stacking stitches the ribbon stitches there is endless amount of stitches and techniques that you will learn just by stitching this out now when you do open up the lid now there are groupings to kind of get you familiar of which stitches are in which menu. Now, this is not all the stitches, but this is a great place to go, oh yes, I'm looking for the monogram stitches, they're in menu seven. Or I'm looking for the specialty stitches like the ribbon stitches, they're in menu eight. We do recommend that if you are going to do our Fop Stitching Cosmos online course, that's part of the quilt, that we work only with decorative stitches and accessory feet is part of your homework is to actually stitch out a stitch book. Even if you just do a page a day or a couple pages, you will see that it is a wonderful resource going forward. For those of you who haven't taken the time to do it, you will find immediately the benefits. And as I was saying, as a new machine owner, this will get you very comfortable with your screens and your buttons in the matter of minutes instead of days or weeks. Then you will find yourself using these stitches more because you're more familiar of what is built into your machine. Check out the links about what the Stitching Cosmos course is all about and how you can put these beautiful decorative stitches to use so they're not just sitting there and all you use this machine for is straight stitch, zigzag, and a little embroidery. So if you have any questions, leave us some comments, but I would love to see pictures of your stitch book and to see a complete video on how to make a stitch book, we're going to link it right up here and also so down below. Have fun and take the time to make yourself your very own special stitch book.